Hop today, everybody. My buddy Janessa over at the Shriners organization gave us a ring and said they have a really wonderful mobile app to show us how you can actually test for scoliosis. Is that correct, Janessa? That is correct. All right, yes. and your son Gianni is here and he's going to be our demonstrator. So, hop today, Gianni. Hi. Hi, good to have you here. So, uh, before we actually get into the app and everything, let's get everybody up to speed. Uh, Shriners, you are permanently stationed here, correct? Yes, okay. I am. Yeah, and people know because we do reports and they said, you know, the Shriners are coming out from um, Hawaii to typically do their work and uh, is it pr primarily to look at children? Yes, it is only children birth to the day before they turn 18 and they come out twice a year, usually July or August or January or February. Mm. So they come out every six months. Okay, and most people have heard of scoliosis. It's a affliction of the back. Correct. It's the crookedness of the back, as I understand. It's actually, yeah, of your spine. So what happens is your spine will curve sideways and it'll either make a C curve or it'll make an S curve. And most scoliosis is not painful, but it can get painful and it can create headaches, back aches, hip pain, and it can affect your entire body. And then if it, the scoliosis is severe enough, it can affect your breathing and your digestion. Okay, and yeah, I know the uh, bass singer from Boys to Men actually had to stop performing after a number of years because of his scoliosis. And, right, yeah. that's why it's so important to catch it early and you, the earlier you catch it, the better off you are because then you can start the process of bracing if, the brace, if that's an appropriate step. So the brace will help keep the curve from getting worse. And, and you're training the spine to, to be in its proper alignment, right? Correct, okay. but there are some spines that tend to not like the brace very much mm -hmm. and will go ahead and keep curving. And then that's when you need to start talking about uh, surgery. Okay, well thanks to the miracle that is modern technology, specifically on a mobile device, um, you have an app that you'd like to show us today. I would. Okay, very nice. Okay, so it's called the Spine Screen and it's very, very easy to do. Come on over here, Gianni. So what you're going to go ahead and All do... Alright, thanks for helping us. <laughs> High five. <laughs> there you go, awesome. So what you're going to do... proper gentleman, he shakes. Yes, He doesn't job. high five. So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and download the app and then go ahead and bend over, please. And this app, I'm assuming, is available for iOS as well as Android. Yes, it's on Google Play and on, um, on the Apple App Store. Store. Yeah. Okay, bend your head down. And what you're going to do is you're going to start the app. You're going to say and push on Start Scan. And it's very important to follow your child's spine and have the phone resting on your thumbs. And then you're going to go slowly down their spine. And your child needs to stay still. And then when you reach the bottom, you press stop scan. And then you do it one more time. Press start scan. Do it one more time. You want to have two good passes just to make sure. Yep. Okay. The, the app will help guide you on this. And then when you get to the bottom, you press stop scan again. Good job. Thank and, you, young man. Very nice. So good job. What the scan is actually looking for is a degree of rotation. Your spine will rotate your ribs and rotate your posture. So it's looking for seven degrees or more of rotation. Mm -hmm. And if it detects that there is that, it will say at the end, your, your spine is out of acceptable range, please contact your physician. Okay. And then that's when you go through the next step of contacting your physician and then they'll go ahead and go through that route. And then if it's you know more serious, let's go to the Shriners route and work on that. But even Gianni, he's seven and he was his spine was checked by his pediatrician at his well mm -hmm. child visit. Okay. The problem is, is the onset is between 10 and 15 years old and that's when kids stop going to the doctors as often because they don't need their immunizations, they don't need well child visits as much. So that's and at the, that age you're too cool to go to the doctor, you know, you're hanging exactly. out at the mall, you know, looking yeah. at the girls. And yeah, you don't want to be going to the doctor every year. Exactly. So, so that's what's great about the app. If a parent or a teacher or a nurse or anybody sees that the child's posture is a little bit out of range, they can do this scan and then they'll know the next step. Okay, may, may I just get from uh, Gianni? Uh, can you just give me a thumbs up? Was, was that scary? Not at all, right? Yeah. Wasn't, all right. Scary. wasn't scary at all. Thumbs up? Thumbs yeah. up. All right. <laughs> okay, so Janessa, um, I'm just assuming because this is a free app and you know basically anybody can use it, um, is this a practical and reliable tool or you know sh should you also consult a physician regardless because you know it's not something like maybe 
uh, like a pregnancy test or you like a, a self, you know, you know there, yeah. there are things you can do to check the strength of your lungs, obviously, right. those home tests. Um, if you do register certain results on that app, even if you do like two or more passes and everything like that, yeah. should you actually bring this to a professional? Absolutely. It's not a diagnostic tool. Okay. It's just something to help parents, help a child. It, it's so easy to do that kids can do it on each other if mm -hmm. they're taking it seriously. It seems like it's pretty fun too. It is. So, yeah. you know, if you, you notice it, it, it can either put your mind at ease or give you confirmation that yes, I need to go visit my physician mm -hmm. and figure out if something's not right, follow your gut. Okay, now you obviously did it with your child as, not so much as a fun tool, but can children use it like on, on people beyond adolescence? And, and can they just say like, I'd like to actually, you know, like yes. examine you with this? It, and is it accurate for adults as well? It is, my first test subject was actually my friend who has scoliosis and Very I wanted nice. to test it. And it tested and it showed that she was outside of accept acceptable range. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so I found it pretty, pretty reliable. Okay, so once again, can we get the name of that and you can get that on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Right, it's called the Spine Screen and just type it in. It's good on, like you said, iTunes and, or the Apple Store, right? Yep. The yep. Apple Store Thank and Google so Play. Yes. Okay, and where can people uh, reach you if they have any more questions about the services that Shriners provides? Uh, the best way, if you need an appointment, call Sharice, 735-7351, or if you just have general Shriners questions, go ahead and call me at 689-8881. All right, will do. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Johnny, thank you. All right, thumbs up. <laughs> Please stay tuned, everybody. Thumbs up to you. We will be right back after this.